We have continuing coverage now of the East Cleveland Police Department, where several officers and their suspended chief are under investigations. Tonight, there's new video of an incident that landed two officers in court this week. A warning now. Some of you may find the footage disturbing. First bro, my hands is up. Got both hands right here. Keep those hands where we can see them. Get them out. Get him out. I'm getting the cover. Go. Yep. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Show me your hands. Your to give you some perspective now, the video shows a driver pulled over by East Cleveland police with his hands up, then dragged from the car. The person is also seen hit in the head while being handcuffed face down. Arama Henderson spoke with East Cleveland's soon to be new police chief about that video and some of the changes he wants to make in the department. Let me see you Talk to acting chief Brian Gerhard in East Cleveland and several things become clear including his passion for the city. Born and raised here and a member of the force since 1995, he has a vision for where he wants the department to head. I want people to feel safe here. Um, I don't want officers or prospective officers to be afraid to apply here. We are not a corrupt police department. We have a couple individuals within city government that are so quick to call the media and say the police department's broken this and that. Well, yeah, on paper, it looks like it is. The reality of what he inherited is eight former officers indicted and his predecessor facing his own legal troubles. Just this week, two more officers and two officers that had already faced indictment were charged, accused of ramming into cars during pursuits and then assaulting the people inside. Acutely aware of the situation and the optics, he held a full staff meeting, including the mayor, for two hours today. And I just pretty much told the guys, we're going to get back to discipline. You're going to be respectful to the public. Uh, the car chases, I'm going to put a limit on. Now, I know a lot of people think, you know, car chases are, you know, everything looks fun in the movies. And it's not fun when somebody gets killed. It's not fun when a car gets wrecked. Gerhard says that doesn't mean an elimination of chases, but he says there's enough technology out there to help catch someone with tinted windows who runs a red light, for example, but that they would still pursue for serious offenses like a carjacking. As for the future of the former officers facing charges. The officers that were indicted, they were excellent at one time. They just lost their way somewhere. And granted, people, because you're indicted doesn't mean you're convicted. So these guys do have due process in their day in court. You know, it's just right now, it's a very bad look for the city. In East Cleveland, Emma Henderson, 3 News.